from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Katy Perry sent an olive branch and a sweet letter to Taylor Swift as Taylor launched her new tour. Apparently, their bad blood is now behind them. At least until they begin to feel irrelevant and need something to garner press again. There's a report that NASA has invented an age-reversing pill they would give to astronauts traveling to Mars. Mars? How about taking care of Earth first? I mean, seriously, who would not immediately sign up for a prescription to age-reversing pills? A Canadian zoo is in a bit of trouble after a bear was taken out for ice cream at a local Dairy Queen. Discovery Wildlife Park in Alberta faces two charges for failing to notify officials the bear was leaving the zoo. One-year-old Berkeley was taken through the drive through Dairy Queen in a pickup truck and hand-fed ice cream through the vehicle's window. It was really cute until the bear got angry because they wouldn't give her any more candy sprinkles. Ticketmaster says that they could one day replace tickets with facial recognition, meaning all us ugly people will likely be shoved to the back of the arena. Page 6 of the New York Post reports that Donald Trump Jr. is moving on from his soon-to-be ex-wife and spending time with Kimberly Guilfoyle of Fox News. It's actually a pretty good fit, if you ask me. I mean, she's a lawyer, and the Trumps always seem to be in need of one, including Donald Trump Jr. right now. A USA Today analysis of federal energy records found that about once every four days, part of the nation's power grid is struck by a cyber or physical attack. This news brought to you by the good folks at Generators R Us. A man nicknamed Captain Jack Sparrow was arrested in Knoxville for huffing glue and resisting arrest. Huffing glue? What, was the Black Pearl fresh out of rum? You know, come to think of it, how did you sail your pirate ship into landlocked Knoxville, Tennessee to begin with? Following President Trump's decision this week to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal, Iran's supreme leader said of Trump, "...this man will turn to dust and his body will become food for snakes and ants." Well, duh. Uh, of course, we all die eventually and become worm food. Thanks for the update there, Captain Obvious. A pair of twins were born in Utah on May 4th, Star Wars Day, and they were named Rowan Luke and Kai Leia after the movie's characters. Their parents better enroll them in self-defense courses before they hit grade school. That's all I'm saying. A recent study shows the people who like charities on Facebook are less likely to donate to them. Whoa, you mean, you mean people are sometimes untruthful on social media? Sky News is planning to ID celebrities at the upcoming royal wedding using AI. All right, so let me get this straight. You did not invite Donald Trump or Sarah Ferguson to the wedding, but you did invite the Terminator? A Massachusetts state trooper rescued a dog running loose on the interstate by luring it with homemade jerky. Be careful, that's also how they get last-minute people for jury duty. In Florida, a woman in an old white sedan pulled up to the drive through window at a fast-food restaurant. When the employee asked her what she wanted, the woman said she had a gun and wanted money. The employee asked her how much she wanted, and the woman replied, $50. The employee told her to get lost and then closed the window. The woman drove away with nothing. Wait, wait, was there a correct amount to ask for for an armed robbery? The latest survey of teens and tech shows nearly 8 in 10, 78 percent, have a cell phone, and almost half of those, 48 percent, own smartphones. The 2 in 10 kids who don't have a cell phone probably couldn't reach it anyway because they're always stuffed in their locker. A Picasso nude painting, Young Girl with a Flower Basket, sold at an auction Tuesday for $115 million. Imagine how much it might have sold for if he decided to paint her some clothes! April was the coldest it's been in 20 years across the U.S., especially between Donald and Melania after the stormy stuff. Poland now has a Hershey Highway, quite literally. Thanks to an overturned semi-truck near Slupka, tons of liquid milk chocolate covered a six-lane highway, and the stuff hardened, blocking traffic and creating a nightmare for cleanup crews. The chocolate gushed across all six lanes on the A2, which connects Poznan to Warsaw, blocking traffic in both directions. Videos posted to Twitter show excavators scooping the soppy, sticky mess from the highway as traffic builds up. Meanwhile, the truck lies on its side in the median. The driver's okay, suffering only a broken arm. Nobody else was hurt. 
Although they are expecting the highway will soon need some repair work using strong acne medication. A study says some millennials are turned off by sex, with one in eight still virgins at the age of 26. In their defense, though, it is kind of hard to meet people playing video games and living in your parents' basement. A new study shows that our brains need rebooting. The study published in a recent edition of the journal Science found that a plumbing network in the brains of mice flushes out cellular waste while sleeping. The study officials found that several important housekeeping functions take place while sleeping. In case you didn't catch that, whenever you go to sleep, you get brainwashed. Rose McGowan says she's leaving the Hollywood bubble behind. She's giving up acting and becoming a full-time activist. It's never the people you really want to see less of that make these kind of decisions, is it? I mean, tell me Michael Bay is quitting Hollywood? That'll make my day! Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can mail a real, personalized greeting card without leaving the house or going out to buy stamps. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards on the website or create one of your own completely from scratch using your own photos and message. And you can even use your own handwriting and signature if you wish. You create it all digitally on the website before it goes to the post office to get mailed. And for an extra special touch, you can even add a gift to the card, like a stuffed animal, bakery items, or candy. You can try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!